In this video, we're going to learn how to fix the situations of flickering or strobing lights that can occur sometimes when using a video camera. Now I'm going to be demoing using an Osmo Pocket 3, but the principle and the fix is the same regardless of the camera used. Now most modern LED lights don't actually have this issue, but very old buildings with tunks and lighting can have issues as shown here. Now I'm going to show you two steps how to fix this issue. However, these steps must be done while recording rather than in post. Only try the second step if the first one fails. The first thing to check is the anti-flicker settings on the camera. Now you're going to need to do this for the particular camera that you're using. For the Pocket 3, swipe down from the top, click on the cog on the bottom left to get to the settings, and then keep scrolling to the anti-flicker settings. Select this and set it to auto if it isn't already. If the lights still flicker after this, then set it manually to the refresh rate appropriate for your particular region. Now for UK and Europe, it's 50 Hz, and for USA and Canada, it's 60 Hz. Then check to see if the problem has gone away. If not, then proceed to the next step. If this problem is not solved, then what we're going to do next is force fix it with shutter speed. So we're going to do this by syncing the shutter speed to match the frequency of the light refresh. Now we're going to do this in a mode appropriate to be able to set the shutter speed, such as Pro Mode. Now I live in the PAL region, so the refresh rates for the lights is 50 Hz. So I need to set the shutter speed to double the refresh rate, so 1 over 100. For NTSC regions like this, set it to 1 over 120. Notice in the demo here, as I slow down the shutter speed from 1 over 240, and approach 1 over 100, the flicker becomes less intense and then completely stops when I reach 1 over 100. Now this is the correct sync speed to match the flickering of the lights. As the scene is now too bright for my liking, I can then alter the ISO accordingly to compensate. Now to keep the lights solid without any flicker, we need to remain in manual mode and then lock the shutter speed at 1 over 100 for PAL or 1 over 120 for NTSC the region, and then just play with the ISO to set the exposure for the scene just like I'm doing here. Now what happens if we set the shutter speed below the double refresh rate rule? As we drop the shutter speed below the sync speed, then the flicker starts to return. And this is also true if we increase it above that magic value. Let's try 1 over 200 or 1 over 400 and as you can see, the flicker then becomes really bad. So the magic value to be able to prevent the flicker of the lights is double the refresh rate, not more and not less. Now I don't really know the science behind it, so if someone more clever can explain why this works, please let me know in the comments as i really like to know. Okay, so there we go. That's how we can stop the flicker of some lights in any camera, using, including the Pocket 3, either by using the anti-flicker settings, if that works, or if not, then use the double the refreshed and set the shutter speed accordingly. Hope the video is useful guys and of course the videos don't forget of course to hit that nice big subscribe button for me and if you have any questions then let me know in the comments as always. See you soon and take care.